In this video, I will explain what the Automax is, why this number is an important indicator of both our capacity to manage blood pressure and our biological age, and how to increase the Automax. Also, I will share my own experience with increasing the Automax. Here is what Peter Atia, a host of the popular podcast The Drive, has to say about the Automax. The summary of one of the research papers on this topic. And here is a summary from the research which looked at the link between VO2 max and blood pressure. The VO2 max by age chart shows that on average we lose 1% of VO2 max per year. The picture is approximately the same for women, except that women tend to have on average lower VO2 max than men. These VO2 max charts correlate well with the results of the above mentioned scientific papers and our own observations. As we age, we generally see the speed of our aerobic activities, like running or cycling, decreasing. And many of us start experiencing challenges with blood pressure. That is, if we do nothing about it. Is it possible to slow aging and increase your VO2 max? Definitely. Though VO2 max is strongly linked to someone's genetics, Scientists say that it's never too late to work on improving your VO2 max. Let's consider my personal example. I started performing high-intensity interval training at 48 when I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. And my doctor suggested that I should try these workouts. I started from slow breathing and brisk walking as I have never exercised much. Over the next few months, I realized that I'm making some positive progress with my blood pressure and I started my first heat workouts which target VO2 max. This strategy worked beautifully for me and my heart tension was gone in less than a year. I stand at VO2 max test for the first time in my life when I was 50. My test result was 34, which is an average number for men of my age. I integrated the VO2 max protocol into my training and it peaked at 54 in January 21. I was 57 at the time. It's considered by the medical community as excellent for men of my age. For a number of reasons, I have not trained much in 2021 and first half of 2022. My view max gradually reduced to 48 by September 22. Then I had a nasty COVID infection and my view max dropped to 45 within a few weeks. This COVID infection did knock me out of my usual training routine for the rest of 22. I returned back to systematic VO2 max training in January 23 and was able to recover it to the level of 50 in 6 months. This is an average level for men between 20 and 24. So what is the VO2 max protocol which I followed? According to this protocol, you perform intervals of running or cycling at close to maximum heart rate for 30 seconds, then slow down for a comfortable jog for 30 seconds and then repeat this interval three to five times. As you progress with your workouts, you may consider increasing the duration of intervals to running at a maximum speed for one minute, then resting for one minute, and repeating this interval three times. This kind of training is intended to stress your cardiovascular system a lot. Hence, I strongly encourage everyone to discuss their potential health limitations with your doctor. If you get a green light from your doctor, they will also help you to determine your maximum heart rate. A very approximate value of the maximum heart rate can be calculated with this formula. 220 minus H equals maximum heart rate. For example, for an average 50-year-old person, the maximum heart rate is 170 beats per minute. Many current smartwatches provide a reasonable estimation of your 2 max without forcing the user to perform at a maximum speed. This is done by comparing the data of a particular user to the database of previously collected data. And similar approach is used by some mobile ap applications, like for example our application BreathNow. The accuracy in most cases is about 90%, which is sufficient for most people. After all, what is really important is a trend of VO2 max change. How do you know if you're sufficiently recovered and ready for VO2 max intervals? Use one of the apps which reliably measure heart rate variability by analyzing your heart rate. Our BreathNow app produces this simple chart. 
If the line becomes orange or red after a routine morning measurement, it is a good idea to postpone your VO2 max intervals until the line reverses into the green territory again. Is there an easy way to try VO2 max training without pushing yourself to the limit? Definitely. The first thing is still to talk to your doctor and secure the agreement. Walk up the hill for 30 seconds, recover heart rate as you walk down, and repeat this workout two, three times. Our blood pressure air breath now includes guiding videos which help you to time your hill walks with audio prompts. The app also includes a simple five minute VO2 max step test from the University of Cambridge which everyone could easily perform without leaving their house. Our Air Breath Now will help you to get started and will objectively measure your progress. Stay healthy.